Hey y'all, Irick Scott here, and I apologize for the lighting and the room echo. This room has a lot of echo, and I'm using my shotgun mic intentionally because of what I'm about to show you. So I promised you a video. These are my Sonos Aero 100s that I've got on both sides of my computer. I've got them paired as a stereo pair. They sound great. They work great by way of Bluetooth. But I also promised you the line-in adapter. So you can see I've got a three and a half millimeter audio cable running from the rear of one of my Sonos speakers to my Mac. And it's connected into the, uh, into the Sonos branded line-in adapter. And that's very important because third-party adapters probably aren't gonna work. But what I wanna demonstrate is the audio delay. So this first test that you're gonna see here, this is in Final Cut Pro 10, and this is out of, uh, or current. This is Bluetooth standard. Uh, this is out of the box without adjusting the app, and you are going to notice audio delay here. So let me zoom in, and you're going to notice that the audio and my lips are out of sync. Check this out. Again, that's just speculation. But the Bluetooth 5.0, so the way I do it, I paired my first Sonos Air 100 using Bluetooth to... So you can say, see, that's badly out of sync, the audio in my lips. But I'm going to show you, and this is in the Sonos app, I'm going to show you what you do. So again, I'm using the line-in adapter. With Bluetooth, I didn't even have to do this. Bluetooth, the audio was pretty much, at least as far as my eyes and ears are concerned, is pretty much on point. But what you do, you select your line-in device, then you select audio delay. And you can see for that test I just did, I had it on max. Well, max means it's gonna be poorly synced. So you're gonna to go to low. So now that I've selected low without changing anything else, let's play this video again and tell me what you think about the lip and audio sync. And I'll even rewind it a little bit so you can see that. I do it. I paired my first Sonos Air 100 using Bluetooth to my Mac computer. Then after I paired it using Bluetooth, then I connected my second Sonos Air 100, and then I created within the Sonos app, and it is worth mentioning, these have to be connected to your Wi-Fi. But within the Sonos app, I then created a stereo pair and after creating a stereo pair, and this, this surprised me, they So see now, I can edit in Final Cut Pro 10 using, in my opinion, professional sounding Sonos speakers for my computer without any sort of, at least for me, noticeable audio delay. Now obviously, I know there is delay present as far as numbers are concerned, because if you look at the audio delay, and it even says in here, it says more delay means more reliable audio. If your source includes video, try low, medium, or high. If your source is audio only, max is the best. So mine is video, so of course I selected low. And with that low setting, you saw and you heard how perfectly matched that is in my opinion. Sure, I'm sure there's a, it says 75 milliseconds. I mean, if you're working for some sort of professional video production company, this may not be acceptable. But for me, Higher Skies Adventure Channel, editing all the videos that I do, this audio sync is perfect. And the same situation if I paired these using the Bluetooth 5. They paired and the audio sync was great. I got the line in because when I originally got this, I didn't think that my stereo pair was going to be able to work over Bluetooth, but it does. So I've, I got the line-in adapter. I'm still going to use the line-in adapter just because I'm kind of a hardwired guy. Even if it's a network, I prefer that physical cable versus wireless. But the reality is with these speakers, and you can find them, expand this video's description and click the link there. With these speakers paired with Bluetooth, it's perfect in my opinion. Sure, the line-in, the optional line-in adapter, which you can find linked within this video's description too, 
It allows you to, to adjust, as you just saw, the audio delay. Low, 75 milliseconds. Medium, 113 milliseconds. High, 150 milliseconds. Max, 2,000 milliseconds. So I've got it set on low right now, and I'll test again so you can see this is low. Speaker and the left speaker in the stereo pair. Both function, but guess what? They function using Bluetooth. So using that original Bluetooth. So it, it sounds great. So if you're concerned about using Sonos speakers for a computer, especially for video editing tasks, which is my use case, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, unless you work for some snooty company and you're like, dude, you can't use, you can't use a certain kind of speaker or whatever. Unless that's the case, these will probably blow you away. I know they blow me away. Now there is, uh, there's some other settings you can do in here. Source level. Now this is neat. So this is with the line in. You can do level six Mac. So that's the audio source level. So you're getting a lot of features unlocked, I would say, by using this, uh, this line in, optional line in adapter. Question that I established to my right Sonos Aero speaker. When I connected the second, the left channel Sonos speaker. So that was max volume in my Mac. And then that's actually max volume in my Sonos app. So I'm gonna turn the volume in Sonos app down. I put it to 69. Paired it as a stereo pair within the Sonos app. Now, with my Bluetooth connection that remained, not only do I get the right channel, but I get the left channel and that's all Bluetooth. So, the reason I did that, there's a, there's a volume setting within the Sonos app, which I set it to 69. This, it, within Mac OS, you know, you can adjust your volume without max it all the way out, it's super loud. So, you can tinker with your in-app setting if you want to, but what's interesting is that source level, as you just saw, it lists Mac computer as an option. And level eight, it says portable player or PC, level 10 high. So it's obvious that Sonos felt that, oh, well dude, people will probably be using this with a computer, a Mac computer. So it's no secret. And I don't know why people seem to be so, I wouldn't say they're Sonos averse when it comes to using a, a computer in conjunction with the Sonos speakers. But at the time of filming this video and my previous video, I couldn't find videos that were talking about people, oh, I, I, use, I use some of those speakers on my computer, I couldn't find them. So I've done it. You've seen it here. Check out my other video. It works great, it sounds great. If you've ever used Sonos, you probably don't want to use anything else because I use Sonos for all my TVs. I want Sonos for my computer and I've got it. So it sounds great. And I could optionally add a Sonos Sub Mini or Sonos Sub if I wanted to, but these two speakers sound great. And again, expand this video's description and click the link there. You can find the speakers like I use. At the time of filming this, they're available in black or white. You can find the optional Sonos line in adapter. And uh, it's just a, it's a great system in my opinion. So I wanted to show you, show you and let you hear in real time how great it sounds. Now, I've got a lot of room echo, so you've got this room echo to deal with. But the fact is, is that the audio, even in the editing, editing app, because if you've got audio delay issues, an editing app like Final Cut Pro is probably where you're going to notice it more than say watching a YouTube video or watching a streaming movie on Amazon or something. So the fact that it performs here and I don't notice and I don't hear with my eyes and my ears any sort of audio delay, that's awesome. So these work great. You've seen it, you've heard it, comment below, tell me what you think. And if you, this video made you feel really good, send me a super thanks. You can find that button down below that says thanks. And if you're shopping for the Sonos speakers like I use, expand this video's description and then click the link there. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. If you have any questions, ask, and I'll try to respond with a follow-up video.
Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.